So I'm really excited about this video. And that's because when I first got into VR, uh, PSVR 2 is my first VR unit ever. What I realized is that if you have to wear prescription glasses to see far, like if you're nearsighted and you have a hard time seeing far, you need glasses, see things in the distance. The way VR works is that it gives you that kind of, you know, depth perception, I guess you will. And so you kind of have to wear your glasses underneath to be able to see uh, everything clearly, uh, even though the lenses are pr pretty much just like kissing your eyeballs, <laughs> if you will. And so that was a little bit frustrating for a couple reasons because wearing my glasses underneath the VR headset yes on the PSVR 2 there's plenty of room underneath to do so but it's not the most comfortable and then the, all, the other thing I noticed is that like the whatever this is called the curtain or whatever that's supposed to block out lights from all around uh, because I have the frames of my glasses on the side of my face it wasn't kind of sealing completely so I, I you know when I record videos especially PSVR 2 videos and as I am now I don't know if you can tell but I actually have a backlight behind me. So I have a light behind me that's shining backwards. And so I can kind of see that light coming through when I'm wearing my glasses. Uh, and that was a problem. The other problem is that you get kind of a little bit anxious and a little bit, you know, uh, paranoid that you, your glasses are going to touch the lenses in the, in the VR and, and you know, you're going to scratch the lenses and that's going to be that. And that's not going to be a good thing. Uh, but what I discovered is that there's a bunch of companies out there that apparently make these lenses that you can actually uh, clip on inside of a VR headset and their prescription lenses and I was looking up what's the best ones what do people recommend and I reached out to one company called a VR optician saying hey uh, is there any chance that I could check out some of your PSVR 2 lenses uh, to review on the channel they were super kind and super nice and they sent some over to me I got some right here to check out not only do I have one pair I have two different pairs because there's two different uh, uh, things with them okay so I have my kind of base prescription lenses but I have another set that is still my prescription but it also comes with blue light filtering now what's good about those lenses for normal people now this is why this video is good not just for people that need prescription glasses but everybody because you can get just lenses that will have these kind of uh well first of all that that would just sit on top of your PSVR 2 lens and that would kind of add a protective barrier so you don't risk scratching your PSVR 2 lenses. So if you're going to scratch anything, it would be these first. So that's the first pro to it. The second pro is that you can get just the blue light filtering if you don't need prescription glasses and you're pretty much good to go, right? So you can actually do just, I guess it's called Plano or Plano lenses, which are lenses without vision correction to protect your headset's lenses. But you can also get it with the blue light filtering. And if you don't know what blue light filtering is, basically it reduces, you know, eye strain because blue light in in, 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 you know, screens and whatnot is apparently what re really kind of, you know, puts a strain on your eyeballs. All right, that was a long intro, but I had to explain the difference. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of this, when I received them, very nice. They come in this little case that are basically, it's like when you buy eyeglasses, how those come in like this nice kind of folding case or whatever you call that. Uh, it comes in that, but they also have them in like these nice sort of like silky bags to protect the lenses in the uh, in them as well, like these kind of uh, string, pulley string bags. I don't know what they call them. Um, and they're, it's just really, really nice. And then it also comes with uh, one of those like micro fibers or whatever whatever you call them, uh, uh, I guess, cloths to clean your lenses. And they actually also include this little wipe. I, I, I didn't even think, I didn't know they were going to include that. There's like this little wipe to clean your lenses with. It's like special, I guess, uh, a special wipe that's, you know, uh, safe to clean your lenses with. I don't know if you, you're supposed to clean your PSVR 2 lenses with that though. I'll be honest, I'm not sure on that part. Uh, but either way, you can clean your, your lenses that come with it, at least, to keep them nice and crystal clear and clean and all that good stuff. The presentation is beautiful. I open them up and uh, again, the lenses are very nice. The the plastic is kind of like, a, the, the, it's like a black kind of hard plastic on the outside. The lenses are, they don't feel like, they're lenses, right? They're, they're, they don't feel like you're going to break them easily or anything like that. Don't, you know, it doesn't feel like you're going to crack them. It feels like they're pretty durable uh, and whatnot. They're nice and large. So, you know, you can actually fit them over the PSVR 2 unit. So I'm going to try to give you guys some B-roll on, on screen right now to show you guys how they go on uh, but they just kind of clip on uh, it's very very easy to do you just kind of clip it on uh, you know you press down till you hear a little clip you know you kind of just wiggle around until you, you find it uh, you know you'll, you'll you'll be good to go uh, it's not too difficult to get these things on very very easy uh, and if you're wondering how far above the lens they sit they do sit a little bit above the lenses that is a thing um, so you know, do do be wary of that there is a little bit of um, 
a little bit of space above it but it's still not going to be the same as like wearing your glasses underneath right uh, it's a lot closer to the lens than if you were to wear your glasses underneath so there's only so close you can bring the lens to it right you, you got to have a little bit of separation also they're going to be a little bit bigger than the psvr2 lens they have to be a little bit bigger they have to go around it and make sure that you're you're completely surrounding the lens uh you know with with your actual uh, prescription lens or non-prescription depending if you get the non-prescription version um, the other thing i'll say is that they have these kind of cuts in the middle uh kind of like on the side of the lens and what those cuts kind of help do is because i don't know what you call that but you know how you can separate the lenses in the psvr2 to make them wider or closer together i actually have to have mine as close together as possible um and so to have that little cut it's to make sure that there's there's space there right so you're not like pinching the person's nose and then the nose has no place to go in them uh i will note when we do a quick test that i did notice that you, you do still kind of feel like there's something a little bit there but uh let's go ahead and actually test them out real quick and we'll talk a little bit more about what i think about them further we'll do a quick little test i'll you can see my kind of first impressions hands-on uh and i'll have chapters in the video so you can skip ahead to the next section once you've seen enough of that but let's check that out and you know actually test them out hands-on all right guys so this is sort of my first reaction to actually trying out the lenses uh and wearing them and i'll say everything is so clear uh the reason there's there's so extra clear is because my eyeglasses are not up to date uh and these are up to date so these are how i should be seeing with my glasses but i haven't gotten new glasses yet but i'll say everything's like really clear like the the glass uh on these things it doesn't feel like it's adding any kind of extra uh kind of like blurriness or fog or, or kind of any kind of glare or anything like that it just looks like a crystal clear lens that i'm looking through uh and then i'm looking directly into the psvr2 and again just looking at all these menus and stuff everything is very readable uh and whatnot i'm gonna jump into gran turismo we're gonna we're gonna just kind of test this out really quick and uh, i want to talk a little bit more about my experience and first impressions wearing these things so let's go ahead and jump into a race and uh We'll talk a bit more. All right, so, okay. The, the way that they cut the lenses, uh, it leaves enough space for your nose. And I, I actually have to have, with the spacing of my eyes, I don't know what you call that. I actually have to have the um, the spacing of the lenses like directly like clo as close to each other as possible. Um, and so even in my setup, the, it feels perfect. It doesn't feel like I have any extra weight on my nose than I already did with the PSVR2 unit itself. Because again, the way that they're cutting this, the, these lenses, uh, the only thing is that I will say I do with my the, fa the shape of my face anyways. Uh, whoa, we're crashing. I do notice very slightly, at least with the distance that I have my, my headset on, I might have to adjust it a little bit. I do feel something slightly on my eyebrows. Uh, so I know that there's something extra on the lens that wasn't there previously. It's not bothersome, not to me, and, uh, at least not as of right now. Uh, but I, I do kind of feel it, you know, kind of grazing against my eyebrows. So again, that might, might just be something that I have to pull my, uh, my PSVR 2 a little bit more away from my face. Uh, but overall, it's very comfortable from what I can see. And again, they're crystal clear. Uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to crash again, but that's okay. It's going to add something extra to the lens, right? It has to clip over the lens um, and, and they, you know, they have to make sure that they have enough room to cover the entire PSVR2 lens, which means that they automatically have to be slightly bigger than the, the PSVR2 lenses themselves. Uh, and there's only so much you can do with that. But uh, as I'm playing through this, everything looks so good, so, so comfortable. It's way better like i said than having to wear my glasses underneath it, these things uh because then i have the frames that i'm feeling constantly over my ears uh and then i don't the thing about wearing the glasses i, I notice is that the the black curtain or whatever you call this thing uh it doesn't properly seal and so i would sort of see the light bleeding in a little bit when i would wear my glasses because the the frame of my glasses were in the way but now i got basically a perfect seal on the sides here and i don't have any kind of light bleeding through my peripheral so that's a huge huge bonus than having to wear glasses honestly if you're someone who has to wear glasses i would highly recommend investing into these kind of lenses if you guys uh you know plan to use your psvr2 unit uh, a decent amount if you use it very very casually then maybe not but at the same time if you spent this much on a psvr2 unit 
I'm sure you're going to be using it enough where you could justify a little bit extra cash for these lenses because I think it's worth it. It's way more comfortable than wearing your glasses. And like I said, you're not going to be paranoid that you're going to accidentally scratch your PSVR 2 lenses either. So yeah, first impressions, they're, they're very good. Okay, so as you guys could tell, I, I really like them. I think they, they're crystal clear. The lenses are really impressive. Yes, they add a little bit of bulk to the to the lens in the PSVR 2 unit, but uh, that's natural. There's only so much they can do. Like I said, they did the very best they could with this little cutaway to make sure there's enough room for your nose as possible. Uh, you know, that's kind of where the cutaway is, right where your nose would go, the, the fat part of your nose. Actually, your whole nose, really. Um, but you're still going to feel them a little bit, you know, especially if, the, if, you're, if you have the headset kind of closer to your face. You might feel it graze against your, your eyebrows a bit, but you can pull that away from your face a little bit. Uh, like I said, they do sit a little bit, you know, further, they, they sit a little bit above the lens, right? They're not flush with the lens, the PSVR 2 lens. You wouldn't want it to be anyways. You know, you don't want to risk these lenses rubbing up on your PSVR 2 lens and scratching them, you know, because then you're in the same predicament as if wearing glasses underneath this thing. Uh, so there is that, but all in all, very, very, very comfortable uh, to wear um, and uh, very, cr very clear. The, the lens quality is impressively good from what I can tell. I'm not an optometrist or anything like that. Uh, all I can tell you is that the lens quality seems really solid to me. They actually use, uh, what is it called? Carl, Carl Zeiss. Zeiss? Z-E-I-S-S. -S. Anyways, apparently it's some of like the best lensing manufacturers out there. They make eyeglass lenses. I think they make lenses for, for cameras even. A lot of the ca like professional camera lenses you'd get uh, use, you know, Carl Zeiss, whatever. They're like basically the best company in the world to make lenses. And that's where they get, that's where VR optician actually get their lenses from. Uh, so it's like some of the best quality lenses out there. The other thing is that VR optician is actually run by people that have been in the optometry uh, if I'm saying that right, industry for a very long time. They are a German company. Uh, the person that I was speaking with says they have a diploma. They they are uh, they have a diploma in optometry. I guess it would be the right word. Their family has been doing optics since 1927. Um, so these are people that really know their stuff. Uh, they they've been in in this whole field for a long time, and they're VR enthusiasts. So. They're people that know about, you know, optometry and they're people that are VR enthusiasts and you combine those two things together and voila, this is what you get. Beautiful, right? Absolutely incredible. The other thing I'll notice is if you're wondering, you know, well, what if I get two sets of lenses and how do you know which one's which? I can actually tell very, very easily because if you reflect the light off of the lenses when you're looking at them, like holding it in your hand, the non blue light filtering ones has um, a, a blue reflection on them. Whereas the ones that have the blue light filtering uh, on them, they have more of a purple reflection. Uh, they reflect light like kind of more in a purple way. Uh, again, when you're inside of the whole VR system though, with the blue light uh, lenses on, you're not gonna see a purple tinge or anything like that. I'm just saying you can tell, uh, I guess it's something with the coating where it's a, when it reflects light as you turn it in a light, if that makes any sense. Uh, but that said, let's go ahead and test out the blue light filtering and see if we can notice a difference. If there is like, cause a lot of blue light filtering lenses have kind of like an orange tinge and whatnot. I actually have like these really ugly uh, kind of blue light filtering glasses that I got off of Amazon to kind of help reduce eye strain. I don't wear them on camera, but sometimes off camera to see, but they have like a yellow orange tinge. You can notice it's like, you, you know what I mean? If you have, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean? So let's go ahead and test them out live and see, is there a color tinge to them or does it, is it, uh, does it unalter, right? Is it, does it, does it unalter the coloration? Is the coloration the same or does it alter it in any way? Let's go check that out right now. All right, guys. So now I got the lenses with the blue light filter on it. It's the exact same lenses, uh, my exact same prescription and all that. The only difference is that it has the blue light filter, meaning that it's going to help reduce some of the blue light that's coming into our eyes from the screen, uh, which essentially is supposed to help reduce eye strain. You guys probably heard about blue light plenty enough in the past. I don't really have to explain it. If you don't know a lot about it, you can look it up uh, in more greater detail. Uh, but anyways, I will say now typically blue light filtering um, lenses and glasses and everything like that, you're going to see some kind of color, usually an orange tinge. What's weird is I don't see any of that. Just looking here in the main menu, I'm going to go into Gran Turismo though. We're going to go into the exact same, uh, race here that we did, uh, for the normal lenses here, which is, I guess the American club cup 700. Uh, and we're going to test it out. We're going to see, but what I do want to say is that I know for a fact it says blue light in case you're wondering if there's any like uh, question. Oh, uh, blue light filtering. I meant, if there's any question, oh, you know, maybe they accidentally sent you the same lenses. Uh, maybe this one doesn't have blue light. Uh, no, you guys would have seen a clip 
Um, I don't know when I'm going to put it as B-roll, but anyways, basically, uh, as I explained, or will explain, there's a difference in the lensing. Uh, when you actually see the reflection of light, when you're holding the lenses in your hands, uh, one of them has more of like a, a blue light, like it looks like a, a sky baby blue, which is the normal lens. And the one that has blue light filtering, it, ha it reflects light with like a purple uh, kind of uh, tinge in the lens. Now, this is not something you see uh, when you're looking through the lenses. It's just when, you, when you're looking at the reflection of light bouncing off the lenses when they're like in your hand. That's the only way you see that. Uh, but you don't see that in here. There's no purple tinge. There's no blue tinge. There's no orange tinge. Uh, there might. And I'm saying this very, 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 very vaguely, okay? There might be a slight, uh, like, orangish tinge. Maybe. It's very, it's very hard to tell. If you guys have ever worn any kind of blue light filtering glasses or, you know, your phone or, or your, you know, Windows PC or whatever, they also have settings where you can put, like, a, a blue light reduction where it gives it, like, a warmer tinge, like a yellow, yellowish kind of orange tinge. There might be some of that going on very slightly in here. But it's very, very minuscule compared to every other kind of lens that I've ever tested out that has like blue light filtering. But in all honesty, I'm having a hard time seeing it personally, okay? Personally. Maybe someone else would notice it more. Maybe someone else would notice it like not at all where I'm noticing it very slightly. Just keep that in mind, right? Everything's subjective. I'm just giving you my perception through my personal eyes, my personal vision. All right, so just to confirm really quick before we do move on to the next part, I actually just swapped out my lenses back and forth a couple times as fast as I could to, you know, have minimal time in between uh, both them. And I would go to like the main menu of my PS5 and then I'd go into like the menu section here. I'd look at the white and that continue to see if it would have, because usually the white is where you can really tell uh, <clears throat> my, my kind of suit in Gran Turismo is very white. I would look at that. And again, I can barely notice a difference in, in if there's any difference at all. It's like, again, uh, I just wanted to make sure just a hundred percent, but bouncing back and forth even instantly, um, I don't really notice. I, 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 I don't see it. So again, that's my kind of perception, but I, I barely see it. So, I mean, if you're going to barely have any kind of tinge, if any, again, it's probably not going to be noticeable for everyone and only people that are very, very, very perceptive and very kind of like, you know, uh, you pay attention to the, to the extreme details. Like I'm really having to look hard to, to know. Uh, those are the only people that are going to really notice. And again, it's nothing that's bothersome if it's even there at all. It's, it's crazy. Uh, bouncing back and forth. It's like, I can't, I have to really kind of second guess myself and say, am I seeing a difference? Is there a tinge? So I don't know. I wanted to be as thorough with this as possible and let you guys know, you know, are you going to have some kind of orange tinge? I don't think it changes the coloration at all, which is extremely impressive because if that means that I am reducing eye strain while keeping the same visual uh, kind of clarity in terms of coloration and, and all of that, I mean, that's huge. That's huge because like I said, most blue light filtering lenses uh, of all sorts or software, hardware, I mean, you're going to have some kind of tinge. But this, very impressive stuff, man. Okay, so as you guys can see, I noticed like no difference. It's, I really had to try. Uh, I bounced back and forth between both of my lenses. I would, I would remove uh, one and then I would go put the other ones on and back and forth and back and forth. And I would go back and forth in the exact same scene and the exact same game, looking at the same menus, looking at the same scenery. And it was very hard for me to notice. Again, there might, there might be a slight difference or might be a slight tinge to the ones that have blue light filtering. But if there is, it is extremely hard for me to tell in all honesty I was having a very hard time to tell all right guys so I quickly went into the eye tracking section just to show you guys that eye tracking still works perfectly uh, with these uh, lenses I am using the blue light lenses because I figured it adds the extra film so if anything is gonna be wonky I would have assumed that it would have been those ones but it's not so you can see exactly where my eyes are looking I can actually see where my eyes are looking and it's it's working perfectly just as it would without uh, any of these lenses on if I close my right eye my left eye You can kind of see it happening. I can blink. I'm blinking and you can see it in real time and close my eyes and so again the eye tracking seems to work flawlessly uh, with uh, The lenses on so just in case you were wondering, you know, does it affect the eye tracking? They have worked very hard to make sure that the eye tracking is still flawless and uh, works perfectly again. You can see exactly where I'm looking at I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look to the left right now. I'm gonna look up right now. I'm gonna look down right, right now. So you can see exactly with the timing, as I'm saying now, 
it goes perfectly back to the top right orange bottom left pink and and, and it works perfectly so eye tracking good stuff uh, now I will say that the blue light protect will add an extra $41 Canadian, which I think is probably like 35 ish us. Don't quote me on that. Again, all my pricing is in Canadian cause I'm in Canada. Um, now the lenses themselves go for $96 Canadian. Now, again, if you were to, you know, switch that, convert that to us, it's probably like $80 us or something, uh, for a set of lenses. But again, you're adding that 41 if you want the blue light. Now, if you're doing just kind of normal, that's with prescription, by the way. Now, obviously the prescription lenses, uh, you know, there's there's different things like where, you know, if you insert a prism, for example, uh, that's going to be uh, an additional thing. Uh, there's going to be a whole thing there. I don't know what prisms are. Maybe, you know, I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't have that in mind, but if you do know, that's just one thing to take into consideration. They also have a thing that how do I read my prescription in case you don't know how to do it. Uh, but you just enter your prescription details, whatever your optometrist would give you on your prescription would write up for you. If you don't know, you can call your optometrist or if you haven't seen them in a while, go see them, get an updated prescription. Like I said, if you don't have a prescription, but you just want the blue light filtering and something to protect your lenses, then you can still do that with the Plano or Plano. I don't know how to pronounce that lenses, which are basically just lenses without vision correction. And again, you can add blue protect to those. Those are only $70 Canadian base. So they are $26 less. So if you need a prescription, it's 96 Canadian, which is probably 80 US. I don't know, you could do the conversion. $70 Canadian if you just get basic lenses with no prescription. But the Blue Protect on the non-prescription, so the Plano or Plano lenses, adds $27. Whereas with the prescription, it adds $41. I don't know why it's more expensive uh, that way. I think it's because with the prescription, they're getting it, they're getting Zeiss DuraVision Blue Protect, which is a different kind of, I guess, uh, maybe, I don't know. Whereas that, it doesn't say that, it's just this Blue Protect on the Plano or Plano lenses. So I uh, keep that in mind. You can check out their website. It'll be linked in the description below. They were also kind enough to give me uh, a code. Now they said I was in no way obligated to share this video. If I didn't want to make a video, I didn't have to, they said, but they're like, if you do end up liking the lenses, here's a code you can share with people to get 5% off your purchase. You can use code J skeleton. Okay. It's code J skeleton, 5% off. I will get a kickback, but I'm not trying to sell you anything. Don't use my code for all I care. Okay. I don't care. I really don't. If you want 5% off, you can use my code. I'll get a kickback if you want to support the channel. I don't care. I'm not trying to sell you something, okay? I am 100% trying to be transparent with you guys. I love these lenses. I think they're very comfortable. They're very good quality, crystal clear. The blue light protect is very impressive because again, it doesn't seem to be adding this crazy orange tinge to everything, which is very, very nice. So I think that covers everything. Again, you can see all the details online uh, on their website, vroptician.com. I will link the one for PSVR2 down in the comment section below. I'll also link, uh, I'll also put a note there that says, reminds you guys that you could use Coach Ace Color 5% off. But again, don't use my code for all I care. I just want to give you guys an honest review of these things. I love them. I'm super glad to have them so I don't have to wear my glasses underneath. And the fact that the blue protect doesn't add this orange tinge is nice because I can reduce my eye strain without, uh, you know, worrying about, you know, changing all the colors, making everything orange, which is really annoying for every other blue light protect that's out there. So yeah, very good experience. Very good, um, uh, you know, quality stuff from what I can tell. Like I said, I'm not a professional at lenses. I don't, you know, I'm, I, that's not my thing. But just as a consumer, I can say they're very good and I enjoy them quite a bit. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I Like I said, I highly recommend these, but check them out for yourself. Do your research yourself uh, and, you know, see, this is my honest review. I love them and uh, they're going to be in my headset permanently uh, from now on because uh, it's just a lifesaver not having to wear my glasses underneath there. So thanks for watching. Again, any questions in the comments, stick around for more. Until the next one, game on. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.